Hi guys, I'm Nick and you're watching the Happy Hood and this is another video where I will be talking to you guys about Germany. If you are an old visitor and have subscribed to my channel and have seen a lot of my videos, then it's good to have you back here and uh, thanks for coming and watching this video again. And if you are somebody who hasn't ever seen any of my videos and have somehow landed to this video via recommendations or some random clicks, then welcome to my channel. I'm Nikita and I make videos about life in Germany, kind of vlogs and uh, I sometimes also answer questions that you guys ask to me about life in Germany. So if you like this video and if you like my channel then subscribe and comment in the videos. If you guys watch regularly my videos then I uploaded a video maybe a month ago or in the past four to five weeks where I told you that I deleted my Instagram account. Um, since I deleted my Instagram account I realized that it will become probably difficult to connect to you guys because one, I am not on Facebook and uh, now too, I am not on Instagram either. So I have to find a channel between me and you so that we can communicate. And I guess the best channel is the traditional channel via email. So I have my email here. If you want to write me questions, queries, doubts, it could be anything like uh, girls in Germany and how difficult is it to uh, study abroad without parents, without family? How do you manage your time? How difficult is it for a woman to be in a technical field and stuff like that? Then please feel free to write me on my email address here and I will very much make sure that I reply to your email either directly or if there are males that are having certain things in common then I will have those emails and I will make a video like I'm making to them. So back to not having Instagram. Since I don't have Instagram I was going through my emails that I did not go through since long. Sorry my bad. I was really occupied in certain things. I went through my emails and I realized a lot of you, more than a dozen of people have written to me their doubts and their questions about studying in Germany after their 12th. So directly once the schooling is over. So these are the mails that ask me about is it a good idea to apply to Germany directly after 12th or things like what do you think is important to know when you're applying after 12 and we are too young or it's okay, the age is okay. Um, is it safe for girls to study in Germany because I'm not even 18 years old, I will be now 18 years old and so on. So I collected all these emails. I have made uh, a kind of list of uh, what I think about this issue of uh, applying and studying in Germany after 12 and I decided to make a video about it. Before I start with this video I would like to tell you guys that whatever I will be talking uh, from now on in this video is everything that comes from a very very subjective opinion and it's my opinion and it might be the case that you guys have a different opinion or you guys have a mixed opinion and it has nothing to do with like you must do it because I'm telling you to do or you must not do it because I'm telling you not to do. It's just that if I would be uh, 18 years old and I would like to apply to study in Germany and somebody would tell me these, I think I would be really helped. So uh, here is a list of what I think uh, about studying in Germany directly after passing your school, that is the 12th class in India. My opinion I have categorized into um, five main categories and I hope uh, actually four main categories and um, each category has some sub uh, categories or like kind of sub points and I hope uh, you find it interesting and helpful. So point number one, it makes complete sense when it comes to the question where you ask, I am 18 years old and I would like to study abroad in Germany and start my bachelor's there irrespective of whatever the field is. It does make sense and I will tell you why it makes sense. Point number one, you were now 18 years old. So if I'm not wrong, I was 18 years old when I finished my 12th uh, and I remember that I was pretty much grown up to understand certain things 
and I can, if I now look back, I think I could have very well managed having my own apartment or living in a student apartment away from my family, having my own electricity bill or managing my own apartment's um, expenses, having my uh, own job, like a kind of side job and paying for my um, clothes, food and whatsoever. 18 years old doesn't mean you're too young. Yeah, sometimes um, it is our culture that our parents are sometimes overprotective and they tend to have us uh, in the family not because they mean bad to us but because they just want to protect us and they think that maybe a couple of more years and then we will ma be mature enough to take our own decisions but I think uh, it makes sense because 18 is a very good age and secondly you aren't too old to start with something new that if it doesn't work out you can switch back so what I mean that often it happens that you come here and you start with a certain course and then you realize in over a period of six months that somehow you don't have interest in this course and you would like to actually switch but then you think okay I'm already now 27 because I after my bachelor's work for five years and now I have uh, wasted 27 and a half half year of my life and now if I switch my specialization or completely the course maybe it will be too late so if you start your bachelor's and if you come to Germany and if you apply to a university and you see that um, something is not really of your choice and you would like to switch university or course or some specialization then you are in fact in the perfect age you can have this one or two years of buffer and start properly at an age of 19 or 20. I uh, would actually put this 18 years old uh, or 18 years as not the best age not the worst age I would call it as the most most optimal age to go and experience uh, different things in your life and uh, find out what you really love to do not only in your academic field but also in the fields of co-curricular like maybe you go out to a different country and you suddenly get to realize you like a certain kind of cuisine more you like this uh, kind of sports more and you'd like to do this and that so it is absolutely sensible when somebody comes to me and tells me irrespective of a girl or a boy that um, I would like to study abroad and um, but I'm just 18 years old uh, is that okay or, um, or what do you think is it really bad so I would say it's not bad it's really the most optimal age you can think of applying already to study in Germany or in general abroad number two when you have decided that uh, you want to now study abroad you must have certain things clarified in your mind Number one, uh, how do you want to finance yourself? So it's a very big question when it comes to dreams and to achieve the dreams. The biggest um, or one of the most problematic uh, challenges is money. And it's sad, but it is. Um, it could be that you're very smart, so you get to have a scholarship, very good. It's really good for you and your family. It could be that your family is rich enough and they're ready to finance you, perfect. But it could be the case that you are an average student like me and you belong to also a family who is middle class and whose parents are not directly able to finance them. You should very much make sure that how your finances will be when you're going to Germany. Uh, I'm only talking about Germany because I have no ideas how it works in UK, United States, Australia, New Zealand. You could go for a loan. That's a very good option because a lot of people go for a loan and I think that's also good for middle class people because then you do not depend on your parents. Oh, another thing that you need to clarify is uh, if you're coming to Germany that the bachelor's is usually in German. For masters it's a bit easier because it's in English. This might be a big challenge after finances because you do not suffice just like A1, A2 levels of German, you really need a hardcore level. Um, I guess it's C1 even to apply to a, a university for bachelors, you need to prove them you have C1. So just make sure that you need to have a very good understanding of the German language. Number three is very important for you to understand. It has nothing to do with uh, logic. It's more or less or purely based on emotions. Are you ready to live away from your family and friends? It is really, 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 really important that you are ready mentally and uh, physically to fight for your own self, for your own survival and for your own better future. You need to be sure 
once you go out, you will have a feeling that your family's suddenly gone if you've been living with your family throughout 18 years. And it will be even worse if you have uh, no friends when you come here and all your friends are back in India. They are enjoying with your rest of the friends and you are completely here alone in a country where um, people speak German that you probably just know a bit and it's a different lifestyle, different food, weather is sometimes very depressive. So you need to make sure that you uh, really should be ready to live away from your family and friends. Otherwise it can be a bit difficult, especially when it comes to exercise submissions, exam stress and other things. And then we realize that we can only talk to our family or see our family like once in a year or once in a semester, depending upon if you were financially sound, probably your family comes to you, but just make sure that you have to be strong enough from inside to, to fight this feeling and be ready that you will not be having your family at or by your side or your friends at direct disposal when it comes to um, studying abroad in Germany. Number four, um, once you have decided uh, you want to study in Germany, you have um, clarified how your finances will go and you're ready and you're strong enough to support yourself mentally, to stay away from friends and family, you need to go and do a very, very, very thorough research on internet about everything you can. Starting from university, you're going to study in what kind of clubs there are in the university, what kind of city I'm going to live in. Is that a city or a town or a village? How are the how, how is the weather of that particular area? Is there something or some activities to do around? How can I make sure that I'm keeping myself busy? Each and every tiny thing you need to research about because each and everything makes sense. You cannot just focus and get indulged into studies and just finish it in two and a half, three, three and a half, four years. You literally have to make sure that you are living your life and you're making this choice of studying abroad in Germany a worthy choice by having experiences, by traveling, by making friends, by going to different clubs, by doing voluntary activity and not just sitting home or in the university library and study. If you do that, then I would say it will be a big disappointment because once the time is over, you will realize you had so much time to do so many things, but you literally just focused on the studies. It's very important to focus on the studies. It should be always point number one. The very, very main important uh, point and task of your life is to study, get good grades, get settled. But this does not mean that you just do that. So just get yourself very thorough information about everything that you can and try to get into the feeling already before you go to Germany that you know that place, that area pretty well and not uh, like when you land there, you were like, oh my God, where did I land? And uh, everything is now so different and I have uh, no idea what's happening where. This brings me to the end of my video and uh, I would like to summarize everything in one. If you are somebody who is right now studying in 10th, 11th or 12th grade or anywhere abroad like USA or Australia, New Zealand, then if you ask for my advice who has been living in Germany and who has been living far from my family and friends for so long, who came here for a master's, um, you should really think about it and it makes complete sense when it comes to take a decision and go away from your family and do something for your own self and your family indirectly because if you go away from your family of course it's bad for them they feel sad pe parents are connected to their kids and so are the kids connected to their parents very much but this will not only create a kind of experience in your life that you had never imagined before, but it also makes you independent, strong, smart, and helps you understand different people, different cultures, different societies. And that just makes your life a much more better and a beautiful life than it could be. So if uh, you were able to apply and get admission and get financed and um, get an accommodation and start your bachelor's in Germany, uh, I, I would say there is nothing better than that. So if you guys have any questions, queries, doubts, or anything regarding this video or other video or other topics, then write me in the comments or on my email address that is again flashing here because I believe that is the whole soul 
channel of communication between us now and I will very much make sure that I reply to everything that you guys want to ask me. I wish you guys a happy evening, happy day, happy noon, afternoon, whatever and whenever you're watching this video. I hope you have spring at your place because at least at our place it's still raining. So have a good time and be strong and much love.